Here I want to show you how you can build the working application with starting from the ideation in the mirror board with the help of the Gemini CLA. So here on the board I have the uh, product brief that describes what exactly I want to build and this is the mobile app for kids to help them learn their finances. So uh, yeah, kids banking. I have generated uh, the prototype uh, with the sidekicks. Looks pretty, pretty nice. And uh, yeah, all the interactions uh, are fleshed out. So that's pretty much all we, uh, all we need to start building. I'll go to my terminal and uh, yeah, first of all, I already provisioned my repository with uh, the Node.js application. It's just basic bootstrapped application, nothing more. I can run it. So you can see how it looks right now. Yeah, so just, just basic stuff. Uh, cool, so now I can go to my Gemini, my Gemini CLA. and start building. What I need to have pre-configured here is uh, basically two MCP servers. I'll show what I have. It's mirror MCP server and of course uh, Chrome DevTools uh, MCP server. So with uh, mirror MCP server, we provide the uh, slash commands for create uh, code from the board and also explain code on the board. I'll start with the first one, create code from the board. Uh, right now I expect that uh, agent will ask me about the board URL or board ID. Let's see. Uh, yeah, board URL. So let's copy it and paste here. And what will happen right now, it will uh, use our MCP to get all the necessary implementation, uh, uh, implementation documents from the mirror board. The PRD, implementation plan, uh, design guidelines, screens, images, so everything that is needed to implement the project. Obviously, it will take uh, a minute to do uh, to do it so but everything will appear in the docs folder i will show it to you later when the agent finishes this uh, initial step all right seems like uh, agent pulled all the necessary documentation and uh, well right now it feels like it's looking to uh, is going to start the implementation so let's see what has changed. So it pulled the images, it pulled the documentation. Let's open it in the editor and see. So it updated the readme. It provided the links to the uh, documents here. Project summary, uh, requirements, product brief, implementation plan I guess yeah all the image is there so I think it's pretty much everything that is needed to start the implementation uh, great so all right so I, I see that it's starting building so let's keep building let's see what uh, we get in the result I'll pause here because it feels like it's going to take some time for it to finish. And just a small note while it's building. So here I had to stop it because uh, it started with the tests. Uh, as you can see uh, here, yeah, I had to cancel the request because it was just trying to do the proper test driven development according to our specifications and uh, yeah, it might take quite a lot of uh, credits and I might run out of the, 
out of the uh, tokens in Gemini CLA. So um, uh, yeah, uh, that's why I just asked uh, asked it to to use the mock data and uh, just uh, uh, yeah do not uh, do not uh, do not do the tests uh, tests at the moment. But it was trying. And it keeps going, so I'll just relaunch uh, relaunch the agent in the in the YOLO mode. So let me just quickly stop it. And yeah, I believe the history will be saved. in the yellow dangerous but we'll see yeah so I'll let the agent keep going and uh, yeah when it's implemented uh, I will check it out uh, maybe in like 20 minutes or half an hour all right so feels like I've reached my uh, daily quota for Gemini 2.5 Pro, but it feels like it's, it already did something. Let's uh, check what happened there. Okay, so it created uh, the bunch of files, screens, UI. Well, quite a lot of them, quite a lot of them. Uh, it moved the images here, mock data, and what's happening in the app. So it created the pages for all the apps. Let's see uh, if the app is running. Let's uh, actually run the application. So it's localhost 3001. All right, so looks interesting. A little bit of missed much in styles. So parent access, go to dashboard. Feels like it get images a little bit in a different way. But meantime, it looks pretty clear pretty close to what we have in the original designs. Obviously, if uh, I didn't hit the quota limits, uh, I would get more out of that. But so far, it looks like the working prototype uh, directly in the browser with uh, all the components that were introduced. Uh, and here, comes the problem. So for me, it's really, really hard to understand all these components and uh, how they relate to each other. So what I'm going to do right now, instead of finishing this prototype, I will actually ask Gemini to explain, uh, to explain what it has in the components on the board. So I'll have the clear and visual representation of uh, the components there. Provide the diagram with all the components and pages from the repository on the board. If it is there in the history, yes, I need board URL. So let's go there, let's get the URL of the board and let's provide it. So what it's going to do right now and what is uh, what we have in this prompt is basically we'll ask the agent to go through the, uh, we ask the agent to go through uh, the repository, analyze all the uh, source code and provide the diagram with all the, uh, all the necessary components uh, that uh, yeah, exist in this repository. So let's see what it will come up with. All right, so it feels like it is done. So it called the tool draft uh, diagram new. It 
analyzed some code and and it also got the uh, board documents there in the in the board okay oh here we go so three diagrams so the first diagram is uh, for uh, for the layout, for the app layout, the second diagram for the home, home screen content, it shows how the components are related to each other, and another diagram with all the components. Oh, it, and it included more, uh, mock data here. All right, so that's pretty much what uh, we have created with uh, our MCP within one run for the limits that Gemini CLA provides. Pretty impressive. Thank you for watching.